Welcome to our first Assassin's Creed Origins video. Ubisoft revamped the world of Assassin's Creed, the combat, story, weapon and gear system and the open world are totally different and this time we're going to Egypt. As we all know Africa has about the most diverse and coolest wildlife on the planet and Ubisoft has implemented a whole new ecosystem. Let's take a look at the different animals you can encounter in the game and how they interact with you and each other. We'll divide the animals into four categories. Background animals, mountable and player usable animals, domesticated animals and wild animals in that order. Let's start with the background animals. We'll go over these real quick since you can't interact with them. These consist of small fish and small birds, simple as that. Possibly insects too, though we haven't seen them in the trailers. And the reason for that seems obvious. They're really small. Let's move on to the mountable animals. This is a very short category 2 with only 3 animals. Of course we have the horse. You can ride it, but there's also an extensive combat system where you can use spears, swords and your bow while riding them. In the trailers you can also see multiple horses in front of a cart. Secondly, there's a more interesting mount this time around, which is a camel. How awesome is that? It looks very cool, but the mechanics are similar to horses, so it'll probably be the same. Only the animations will be different and of course the aesthetics. Thirdly we have Senu, the eagle, who is your eyes in the sky and is a replacement for the eagle vision. He can spot enemies and tag them to make your job easier. Moving on to the domesticated animals. These are the animals that you can see wandering along the cities, villages and farm fields and are overall used by the NPCs in the game. We have dogs, it's currently unknown if we can interact with them, but you probably will be able to pet them as Assassin's Creed 3 made this possible too. Besides dogs, there might be donkeys, which are mainly used for transporting goodies. Next to that we have oxen, who are used to plow through farm fields. Next up is the most interesting and last category, the wild animals. We have lions, both male and females, though we only have seen males so far. They will, of course, besides laying and walking around, hunt other animals, specifically impalas or antelopes, whatever you want to call them. These creatures are actually mostly traveling in herds. The interesting thing is that another YouTuber mentioned that an article said that lions will lie and wait at the edge of the water for the herd animals. Other carnivorous animals are hyenas, leopards and crocodiles. These will all hunt and eat animals like ibexes, which are essentially goats, hippos, flamingos, herons or pelicans. The hippos and crocodiles are of course water-based animals and you will be able to fight them underwater. There will also be elephants or more specifically also war elephants so they probably will see some use but we haven't seen too much of this. These will probably be both wild and domestic as we see in a picture with it carrying some large shadow like structure. Finally as it's not a real animal, we mentioned it last. There is also a huge basilisk or snake in one of the tombs that you will be fighting. So essentially a boss fight. Uh, and there might be even more. Pretty cool stuff though. We mentioned a bit how they will interact. Some short stuff that they mentioned is that when you have killed an animal, the blood will attract other animals. Each animal also has a level. 
This of course means that the higher level they are, the harder they are to take down. But they will also drop better loot. There are even missions that require you to kill animals like hippos or crocodiles, but probably also other animals. Of course we know that there are a lot of animals that we haven't mentioned that do reside in Africa and especially Egypt, but these are the ones that have been confirmed so far, but there will probably be way more. I know this isn't too much information, but it's all we know about the current system. Let us know what kind of animal you're looking forward to the most. For now, thanks for watching. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video or a dislike if you didn't. In either case, leave us some constructive feedback on the video, art style, commentary and content. In case you want to stay updated, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for instant pop-ups when we upload. If you have any questions, want to share your ideas, or if you simply want to start a discussion, let us know in the comment section down below. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll hopefully see you in the next video.